Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And before I started my update for David, first I would like to thank the people who made all their efforts to help me and to the people who sent me a message every day to cheer me up. Thank you so much. Even you, we don't know each other, you are there for me. And uh, thank you so much, guys. And I believe that even you are the worst person in the whole world. There are still many good people to spend their time for the people who need help. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga tao na nag-effort para matulungan ako. So, and I have a list here uh, to some people that I am so, so grateful to all of them. So, first, I have uh, Ismutli, Brother Ismutli. Thank you. Thank you so much for your efforts and your time. You spent your time to find David, call all the hospital. Thank you so much. You are a very, very kind person. And I, from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you to you. Even you are, and David is not okay. You did your part. So even the people are telling you not to do it, you did it. Thank you so much, brother. And to Sir Roger Lambro and his wife, Mom Cora, Howard, Mr. Lee, Howard Hawkins, Mom Sharon Lapolapo, um, Tatai Charles Sander, Bobby Biles, Eddie Frank Anderson, Eric Garrett, Robert Taylor, Indy King, Derek Casanares, Reno Morris, Rob Sulaiban, Ziggy Robertson, Mom Vivian Marquez, Ati Vivian, salamat din sa'yo, and to Madam Esterline Bayangos, maraming salamat po, and she is the nurse from California, and uh, Sir Nelson Dayton, John Luciano, Sir Anthony Keen, Jay Wichel and Alton Mingo. Thank you so much for all your efforts. Maraming salamat po. So, here's the updates. Uh, from September uh, 10, that is the last that I talked to David and he was in casino. From September 11, and that is a Monday, I don't, I cannot call David anymore. From September 11 to September 21, I don't have, I cannot call David, I don't um, hear from him, no news from him. So, finally, he called me on September 22 on Friday at 4 a.m. in the Philippines. So, so here's the reason why David, why I cannot contact David from September 11 to September 21. So from the casino, he he spent his time the, there. He spent the whole night there. So from there, and so I think. David is get stressed because he don't have enough sleep, he don't eat, he's, he's tired and he have a jet lag. So it's mix all his uh, feelings or emotion like that. So from there I think the people is uh, uh, like uh, worried about David uh, where he is. So uh, David told me when I talk to him on, on Friday because I'm gonna I, I'm, I ask so many questions David when I first call him on Friday I asked him so many questions what happened why you he's just called me right now for how many like 12 days I cannot contact him 
and he don't he don't message even his friends so the reason why he not call me or message me or he don't call one of his friends because the people from the casino call the ambulance for him to bring him to the hospital because they think David is crazy that's what David told me when I talked to him last Friday so on uh, so the people are think David is crazy so they bring him to the hospital where is he said for the crazy people so that's why I cannot call him because they took his phone from him for 12 days and then from there then I asked him what hospital is that and he really don't know where he is and I think he just remember a uh, north 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 east but when I asked him what address is that and what hospital is that he just told me that it's a north east hospital that that what he's remembered so uh, and then he told me that he tried to talk some uh, nurses there Filipino nurses there to please give me my phone back please uh, can you call and he, and he even give uh, um, give the, my name some of the nurse there to 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 call me or text me but no one is uh, message me so I because they think David is something there's a something uh, problem to David so that is the reason why he don't use his phone they took his phone from him from September 11th to September uh, 21 so that is 12 days guys so and then I tell to David uh, so many people are worried and I tell to him that his uh, sister is filed the missing person for him and I also call his friends so everybody is worried about him I told that to him so and then he said uh, I'm sorry because uh, he also don't know that is happened because uh, the people from the casino bring him to the to the hospital so and yesterday he said finally they bring they give my back phone I they bring I did give his phone back to him so that's why uh, uh, he can now he have his phone so he can call me and he can use his phone now so and then they moved to David to another hospital and now the name of the hospital that he stay is uh, here um, because I was talked to the nurse there and I and then I asked them what address as David is what hospital he is right now and he is like this is the name of the hospital is in compass health rehabilitation hospital and the address is South Valley View 12 1250 South Valley View so um, that is the address of the hospital where is David is now so and then I also talked to the nurse um, what medication are they uh, is David taking and they said it's same uh, it's about his um, diabetes diabetes and for his um, it's same same medicine so and I also talked to the nurse about um, is David is being uh, rude to them and they said he's uh he's okay he's uh, being good because i always remind david to please david please be good to them please don't talk too much or just uh relax and not yelling or screaming to 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 the nurse there and to all the people that uh, 
be a good. I always remind that to David, and I hope David is listen to me. So now, guys, David is in that hospital. I'm gonna put the name of the hospital below so you can see if, if you cannot understand uh, what I'm saying. So I get, I'm gonna put the the name of the hospital. So anyway, guys. So David now is uh, okay, and then he is in rehabilitation hospital. And uh, when I asked the nurse how many days or week that David can stay there, they said to me that uh, one week or two weeks, but they're not sure yet. So I'm gonna ask David again or call him again uh, about about so many things so guys that is and uh, thank you for all the prayers thank you very much God thanks to all of you and thanks to all the viewers and please I have one one thing that I just want to say to all the bashers you can bash me guys you can say whatever you want to me even the bad uh, words so you can you can bash me and not my family. You can say any bad words to me, not my family, please. That that I just want to to tell you guys, because my family is not depend on David's money. Even we are poor, we're not depending. My family is not depending on David my family is even we are have they have uh, a small salary every day they not ask money from david they not i guarantee you that they not so please stop judge my family you can judge me you can say everything bad words to me yes okay it's no problem i can't i can't deal with that but for my family please no so anyway guys thank you so much thank you thank you and to the people who understand me and know me maraming salamat po. and see you to the next video so bye bye when it comes to something like that it might be through the case manager um but if she, if she needs like a medication list we could i mean if she's on the the uh like the list of individuals yeah, okay. who you're okay and yeah and that's something that the nurse should be able to provide but like i said she's busy right now okay. i could tell the oncoming staff that you're uh trying to get that done maybe they could do it first thing okay but, could you tell her i'm not being mean here she thinks that i'm being stubborn and mean and maybe you guys hate me <laughs> no nah, we don't hate him no nah, he's a good guy he's very jolly if you could tell her that the, the place I came from thinks every black person is crazy. I don't know anything about the place he came from, but if it's a bad experience that he had, then I'm sorry that happened to him. We'll take good care of him, though. Well, I'm going to move on.